sexual relationship is someone you keep going back to. I don't think it was that, you know. Aquava, my name is AC Kokui, and this is What's the Wahala AC, where we discuss all the Wahala from the week. I told you I was going to be in a new spot, but we're still keeping up with What's the Wahala AC episodes and making sure that I can provide you all the Wahala that you need. Duh, that's what we do here. So we're not stopping anytime soon. I'm in Texas right now, about to go to New Orleans tomorrow. So if anybody from New Orleans has any ideas of things that I can do, let me know down below. All right, you guys, if you are also new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and let's get into our big three. Cause we the big three, don't need a big speech. We made the biggest impact, check the spreadsheet. Okay, starting off our big three, we are talking about Megan the Stallion. Megan did an interview this week. It came out on Monday with Gail King about her experience that night with Tory Lanez shooting her, allegedly shooting her. Um, she discussed how that experience affected her, what actually really happened, and Gail King asked if you know, she did have a sexual relationship with Tori. She did hesitate a little, which made a couple people wonder, was that truly an honest answer? That was the only question I feel like she faltered a little bit on. Um, and my opinion on that is just, I don't think they had a sexual relationship. They may have had one or two experiences, but that doesn't make it a relationship. In her eyes, in my eyes, that wouldn't make it a, re a sexual relationship. A sexual relationship is someone you keep going back to. I don't think it was that, you know? She also said that Tori Lanez offered her a million dollars, her and Kelsey not to say anything. And she's just like, that's not what I'm thinking about right now, you know? A lot of the things that she mentioned, she has said before. She's done, she's been vocal from the very beginning about what actually happened. She went on live a couple days after it happened and told her side of the story. She told this, these things already. She said that, you know, she's, she stepped on glass um, to protect him, to protect them. And that is a valid reason. I don't know why people are trying to use that now against her and say that, why would you lie? To protect them, like they, that is a valid thing to think about in the moment. And yes, like maybe if it was you, you would have been like, I'm shot. But that's the route that she took in that moment, which could have saved their lives. So th there's a lot, a lot, a lot of people that just don't believe Megan and don't feel like her story is consistent. But I feel like I've been watching and following the story from the beginning. Her story has stayed consistent to me. I just believe that people who don't believe black women are disgusting. Um, point blank period, like I have nothing more to say about that. And for her to have said that she was shot and you can see pictures of her feet of where the bullets went through she still has bullet fragments in her feet today and for people to still not believe that like that's the problem it doesn't matter if she had a sexual relationship with him or not it does not matter she got shot and that's the problem all right, you guys, let's move on to the next story before I get a little more heated. Uh, um, Black China is suing the Kardashians for 140 million, saying they killed her reality TV show career because they killed the show. They allegedly killed the show, Robin China, and for defamation of character, saying that, you know, a lot of the things they claimed about her didn't happen. So right now they are in court over that. Black China's mom was dismissed from being in the courtroom for the rest of the time because of just her threats that she made about the Kardashians. She went on live the next day and just, or that same day, and just started talking about everything that was going on in court and just like threats, giving threats. So she was not invited to come back. Chris claimed that China beat Rob with a pole and strangled him during an argument. And China testified that she did 
to wrap a cord around his neck and pointed an unloaded gun in his face, um, but she said that was all in self-defense. Kylie also testified that China has had a violent past, that the scar that's actually on Tyga's arm is from her using a knife on him. A lot of claims are being made, a lot is being brought out in court. Um, they have their side, China has their side. I can't say too much opinion, just like the Tori and Megan situation, I cannot say too much on it and yes believe a black woman for sure i just said that so i'm not gonna say that she's completely wrong in the things that she said but i also don't believe that the kardashians are completely wrong in what they said i think there's both truth to both sides and there may be lies on both sides who knows but we'll just see how this continues to play out in court now moving on to our last story Burn Up Boy is the first Nigerian to headline a concert at the Madison Square Garden. That is such a big news, such great news for Nigeria, such great news for inclusion. I was talking about this last week, how we just have so many African artists doing North American tours and that's amazing and great and I love that I get to experience them here. He will be headlining Madison Square Garden April 28th, which is today. And if you would love to watch it, it is being streamed on YouTube. All right, that was our big three, and now it's time for our weekly wrap-up. Bad Bunny is casted as Marvel's first Latino superhero to headline a live-action film as El Muerto. Bad Baby dropped receipts on Instagram showing us all that she made $52 million just from OnlyFans. Elon Musk buys Twitter this week, and Black Twitter is debating whether or not they should move away from Twitter. Chris Brown and Lil Baby announced they are going on tour together. Diddy is hosting and executive producing the Billboard Awards that are coming up on May 15th. Nene Leakes files a lawsuit against the Real Housewives of Atlanta team for a hostile and racist work environment. Lizzo confirms that she is dating actor Mikey Wright. Okay. Togo has been hit with great news as their members of parliament have finally voted to join the Commonwealth Group of Nations. Tanzania celebrated their Independence Day on April 26, as well as Sierra Leone and Togo celebrating their Independence Day on April 27th. So congratulations to them, and that is our weekly wrap-up. Now, what is on my playlist? What am I listening to? What am I getting in this week? So I have been watching The Ultimate. I feel like I always tell you guys things that everybody's already watched. But, you know, some people haven't watched it, like me. I am finally watching The Ultimatum. I have maybe like two episodes left. I'm gonna watch it on this plane ride to New Orleans. It is so good. <laughs> it is so good, it's so messy. It is just an interesting, interesting trial to see like what is actually going to happen. So if you don't know what The Ultimatum is about, is it, it is a Netflix show, it's a reality show. Basically, it's these couples and one of the couple, they feel like they are ready to get married. The other one doesn't feel like they are ready to get married. And the one that feels like they're ready to get married is like, either you mar marry me or you leave me. And so Nick Lachey and Vanessa Lachey created this show because they took a break before they got married and it helped them realize that they wanted to be back together. And so on the show, all the other, all the couples get to do a trial marriage with one of the other people um, that are there and also experiencing this ultimatum trial. It's definitely messy, it's definitely entertaining and I really enjoy it. So if you are looking for a new reality show to watch, the ultimatum is good. Plan B came out. This is Megan's new song that she performed at Coachella on the first weekend and she dropped it last Friday and I enjoy it. I listen to it probably every single day. It's giving me really little Kim vibes but it is definitely Megan and it's giving me the type of music that I want to hear from her. You know it's really hard with just the type of deal that she's in to give us the type of music that she really wants to put out but I hope that she keeps on like elevating herself and not letting other people in all these court cases and all that stuff like stop her from just being great so plan b is a good song listen to it add that to your playlist and i like what a lie by justine sky i know 
I've always been a Justine Sky fan. I know a lot of people don't get into her, but if you listen to her past work, it is really, really good. A dark skin R&B artist that is really trying to break into this world, and I feel like we are, we're not giving her a chance. I don't know why people aren't giving her a chance. Her What A Lie song is good. Despite all the drama that may come behind it, it's good. Listen to it, add that to your playlist, and see how you feel about it, and let me know down below. All right, you guys, as you know, I like to end my show with positivity and good vibes, and this one actually comes from Viola Davis. She gave an interview this week, well, it came out on Netflix. She gave an interview with Oprah. It was kind of in relation to all the criticism that she was getting from the, the film that she did about Michelle Obama and just like how it wasn't giving what people wanted. Um, and so she had this to say about that. Critics absolutely serve no purpose. And I'm not saying that to be nasty either, Viola Davis said. They always feel like they're telling you something that you don't know somehow that you're living a life you're surrounded by people who lie to you and i'm going to be the person that leans in and tells you the truth so it gives them an opportunity to be cruel to you and that is very 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 true there's always going to be someone that's not liking what you're doing always there's always going to be one side to a situation and another side to a situation nobody's ever going to fully agree that this is the right way there are so many people in this world so many opinions but the only one that matters is yours if you feel like you are proud of the work that you did or whatever you're doing then do it do it and forget what the critics are saying you have probably thought of X, Y, and Z about the situation. So why does it matter what other people feel like if you've already done the thought process behind it? Believe in yourself and listen to yourself. Listen to God if that is who you listen to. But those are the only people that you should listen to. That is it. Okay? Forget the critics. Forget the haters because they're always going to be there. They're always going to be there. So you just got to find a way to move through that. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I'm going to still film What's the Wahala AC while I'm traveling. And I just hope you enjoy the different backgrounds you're gonna see <laughs> um, throughout this and the news that I am recording. So if you are new to my channel, again, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that jazz. And I'll see you again next week.